What's up everybody, MC Murr here, coming at you with another controller review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the N30 2.4 GHz wireless gamepad for the NES Classic Edition. So this product is from 8-Bit Do, 8-Bit Do, 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 I don't know. Anyway, we hope that 8-Bit does what another controller doesn't. What I'm particularly interested in is the button formation on this thing. Notice they're side by side, just like the good old days. For a while now, I've been using the Mini Boss from Nyko, which has actually done quite well. It's responsive, it holds a charge, it does what it needs to do, but it's got the offset buttons, that, that diagonal angle that would be fine on the Super Nintendo, but on the regular Nintendo just kind of feels unnatural to me. Let's get this bad boy unboxed first of all, then we're going to take a look at what it can do. Won't you join me? Alright, so let's unbox this thing, shall we? Pulling it on out here. So at a glance, it looks great. Of course it's sized correctly. It feels good. Buttons are nice and clicky. I like that bounce back. That's going to feel good. And I noticed the addition of a home button here. I can tell you right now, that's going to be a nice thing to have. Select and start. Everything feels right with this. You have your instruction leaflet here with your button layout and instructions on connecting it. And I'm really, again, just excited about the buttons being side by side. This is really going to up my game. So we've got the receiver. And I love the styling here. They're going for the NES console top look there with the ribs on it. So couldn't ask for much more than that. And last but not least, we have our connection wire with the USB ends everything we need to get started. That said, let's get started. So as soon as you plug your receiver into your NES Classic Edition, you can hit start on the controller and it will light up blue denoting that it has been successfully connected. It will light up red if it's running low on juice and green while it's charging. So that's nice to have. Getting right into the gameplay was awesome. Everything felt right about it. Again, that had a lot to do with the fact that the buttons were side by side, where I want them. Everything felt right on this thing, including the bounce back on the buttons. And I know that's a little nitpicky thing to worry about, but it's a big deal. It's gotta feel good when I press it and when it bounces back, and it did that. And I know not all games you're gonna use turbo on. In fact, I seldom use turbo, but when I used it here, it was working just fine using it here on a shmup, shooting them up and everything felt good. Again, I wasn't missing a single power up. It felt right. What it did, it did correctly. I think what this controller does in the way of performance, plus a totally decent price point, makes it a must own for anybody with an NES Classic Edition. I'm pleased with what I'm seeing so far. I think that you will be too. So that's going to do it for this edition of the MC Mer Show. Hope you liked what you saw here today. What do you think about what you saw here today? Are you into this thing? Are you going to go buy one? I think I'm going to be happy to have it and I'm going to enjoy using it. I want you to leave in the comments what you think about what you saw here today. Have you used one of these things? Do you already have one of these things? What did you think about this thing when you use this thing? Are you planning on going out to buy one of these things? What are your thoughts on it right now? You know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Mer Show. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you're going to drop a like on this video. And if you have not already done so, most importantly, I hope that you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be part of Mer Nation. Be part of what we got going on here. Love to have you along for the ride. MC Murr, signing out for now, and I will see each and every one of you again next time.